Here we are. We're at the Matt Cave. We're going to talk about this little sneak peek that we did. And we got our all micro adventure sluice with no flare. That can go into uh, several of our other pieces of equipment. We got, of course, the new boss cleanup guy. This is actually a, a demo uh, version that we used to um, uh, drop test. We threw this around the shop. Still works. That's good. Um, this can also go into MicroBanker. This also can be used as an extension onto uh, a regular flared sluice with an extension. And also we still have our adventure sluice cleanup kits that this goes into. So we are gonna do a little run with this. This is a little bit of material on my coffee uh, container there. And we're using a little 750 pump. We're using a little power controller because that helps us adjust our speed. And we're gonna show people how we already have this, and people have been using it, this cleanup kit with the regular one but with the combo mat, but now that we got the all micro, you can really turn it down, really do your finish up cleans. So it's kind of like, you know, it really is a mini cleanup system where we have our buddies that we do our small cleanups in. And for the panner, this is for fun. This is for small cleanups. This is to cut a pan of dirt down to nothing and have a little bit of cleanup. But now there's that guy who's in there and he wants to run quite a bit more material. So he wants to, you know, not just do one little pan full. He may want to do a five gallon bucket in really slow material and really fine gold and go for that capture. So as you can see, you know, it's pretty easy to just turn this guy on and set your speed. Let you go fast. Or you can slow this baby down to just a trickle. And so you guys can get the exact flow you want for your flower gold. Of course you can do that with these guys with valves. And you can buy a power control for the 12 volt on this and do that if you want to. And our little pond pump has an adjustment also. So we can slow this guy down. Just butamus. Run some material. I'm going to go ahead and uh, back out a little bit on this and do a different shot to give us a better view straight onto the map on what we got going on. All right, like I said before, we got our little power controller that we're running. This is super slow. I'm actually going to turn it up a little bit. We'll turn it just up enough to roll off some of these quarter inch rocks, so I don't have to worry about getting my fingers in there. But before, you know, I'm gonna do that, I'm just gonna take this little brush and I'm gonna oops, fill the flow there. Go through here and see if there's any little bubbles. Yeah, let's see if there's any. All right, there it is. We're gonna turn that baby up and we're gonna run some of this material. And Got a little catch basin, got the pump, got it going. Material's pre-wetted. As you can see, the holy buckets, the coal is already dropping out. This is some test material that we've been using. And the cell's got black sands in them. We got some gold in it. I'm gonna go ahead and do a zoom in on this area. So when I run this, you guys can kind of see what's going on. And you can kind of see how this mat loads and how we see our migration pattern stack up, fill, and come down. Going to do that. All right, here we are zoomed in on what we got so far. You can kind of see that we're filling up and we're a little bit darker down here. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to feed some material. And we're going to watch this gold migration as we scoop that stuff in there and 
and how the mat treats that and cleans out the black sands and replaces it with the gold in that cyclonic action by bringing the stuff upstream and packing those cells. And what we're gonna see is what a lot of people call cheesing out the mat, meaning that the gold is gonna be filling up the cells and once the cells are full, they will be overburdened with gold. <laughs> and then they will cast down to the next one. And that's what we wanna see. We wanna see that, that what I would call perfect migration, where you got basically true filling of the, the cells before the next set of cascades go out to the next one at a certain, a good percentage. So we know that we are not gonna see like, what we see in a lot of the other glory shots of the air systems where we see the same amount of gold from top to bottom. So, because if you're doing a clean out, um, unless you got a, uh, another system underneath it, what you want to see is you want to stop before you get gold coming off the very end of the sluice so that you know you have a high capture rate and your tailings are going to have a low amount of, uh, not very much gold going into them. So, because we don't want to have to rework your tailings over and over and over again. So anyways, and um, uh, a lot of times we run a double system, you know, we'll run a, you could run with the little extender behind this, the traditional uh, adventure sluice with the, the mini in the KD, and then you could basically look at um, uh, picking that up that way. So like I was saying, we could put this system behind it with a clip so that we'd still get some micro, but then you're going to pick up all that bigger stuff and collect more black sands here on the lower part of the sluice and it'll act as your tailing sluice. So you can load this sluice up and if, when you start seeing gold in this sluice, you turn it off and this is your safety catch so you don't have to go into your tailing pit or your pond or the bucket to get your fine gold. Anyways, so let's go ahead and keep loading this guy up with wonderful cheesy material. bottom of my bucket or my coffee can we don't got metal cans no more so we used to save everything in coffee cans when I was a kid but now we got coffee buckets all right so let's go ahead and turn this guy off and let's take a look at what she's doing for us All right, let's go ahead and detach the old cam. And we can see that we got a nice capture. And as we go down, you can see how migration has been slowed down. To where we got the bottom of the sluice, we got some material but not the same amount up here at the top of the sis. Zoom in too tight. There we go. As our regular adventure sluice is used in our systems, now we have the micro pattern that's going to go with it. 
so now we can basically do our cleanups. We can actually even tether these together for a nice cleanup system, an adventure school kit. And we could run this baby in the microbaker out in the field. As you can see in the demo, I loaded it up with a lot of gold in the cleanup just to kind of show you it's gold grabbing. There was a lot of gold in that. It's kind of set up more gold than what you'd normally expect. But we hope you find that much gold in your systems that you're cleaning up. And we're going to start selling them in these three colors. My little bouquet of adventure sluice micros. Awesome. Really appreciate you guys asking for this so much and put the fire underneath us to get this product out there for you. This has been a customer driven product. And that's always exciting because we know we're not trying to reinvent the wheel. We're giving people what they're asking for. All right, go fetch.